We're sitting here today in front of the Louvre Museum online tour website. Now you might think that the name of the museum comes from the French for the work. Referring to the grand body of work that an artist has completed. Which it does. But not because of art. It apparently comes from the very large castle that was built here. It was a lot of work. We decided to go with... Founding myths, from Hercules to Darth Vader. I love Star Wars. The first small gallery Louvre exhibition, it looked into how artists have drawn inspiration for myths, given them form, and brought them to life. All of the exhibit is in both French and English. Cycles of nature give birth to the first myths. I can't read the part that comes after. Ooh, interactive art. These italic eyes on the screen open a new window that tells you more information. If you were here, you'd be able to push the buttons to see different lighting scenarios. That would make everything look different. What else does it tell us? The pedestal with the buttons was a conscious decision. But there's not a way in the tour to activate those lights or to see them in motion. Perhaps this was also a conscious choice, part of the story of myths, to tell us of how this exhibit would work if we could be there, but not to show us. To lead the light show as a myth. I'm not really seeing a new perspective here. Next to that is a picture of a winged woman in a pink dress. From the cupid, her wings, and the torch she bears, I presume this is the goddess Nike. That could be her cousin Astrea, the star maiden. On the far side of a painting is a woman holding a vase next to a vase with two similar vases on pedestals. There are more buttons. We don't actually know what these buttons do. Presumably they adjust the direction of light again, but like most things in this exhibit, they remain shadowed in myth, never fully revealing what they are. If you'll pardon the pun, I think the success of this exhibit is of mythical proportions. In the final room of the exhibit, we find ourselves face to face with monsters and heroes of myth, including Darth Vader. I can't believe they blurted it out. This was part of the reason that we chose this exhibit. Meanwhile, on the other side of the room, given the name of the exhibit, and the literal writing on the wall, we see Hercules about to slap somebody. Apparently the video that would be shown on the screen will seek to change our attitude towards art. I don't think the curator was successful in communicating that. Me neither. The first exhibit was the only one with dual French-English titles. The rest were all in French. Even if we didn't learn as much as we'd hoped to, we still had a great time. I love spending time with you.